Hi everybody, in this video I want to show you how you can build a real world application with Langchain and Gradio. With the app you can directly talk to your SQL database and retrieve information via the language model. As you can see here, the click triggered uh, an agent and the agent tries to query the information from the database and will answer in the output here. So you can see I asked how many of my users like programming, what's their names? And the answer is two users, Emily Jones and Wendy Thomas like programming. This is the exact information in my SQL database. So I will show you how to do this. You will find the code in the description. So first of all, we have to install some packages. We have to install Langchain, SQL Alchemy and OpenAI. So we install it with pip install and after installing it, we first have to create a database and create the logic how to insert data inside the database. I've created a users.json file, which includes 25 users with the first name, last name, email, age, and a list of hobbies. So these users I want to insert inside my database. So first I have to create the logic to create the database and insert some users. So we import the create engine function and create some classes like column, string, and integer, which help us to create the database. So we also need the session maker and a function called uh, declarative base. Okay, now we instantiate a base class with the function declarative base. And then we create with this base class um, an, an own class which inherits from the base class. And we give that base class a table name which is called users. The table will have multiple fields and the fields have to match these names here inside my JSON file, first name, last name, email, and hobby list. So I do this here, and I will just create first name, last name, email, age, and hobbies, and the hobbies list will be converted to a string and converted back. So we also need an ID, which will be the primary key in our users table. After that, we have to create a custom property to convert this list here into a string because the SQLite database is not able to contain a list inside a single field. And we also create a setter where we actually set the field inside the user class. So after doing this, we now create a function to work with this user class. So we will first have to use create engine and create our database, which will be of the flavor SQLite and it will be called users.db. So after creating this engine, we now have to call base metadata create all engine to actually create the database. After creating the database, we now have to create our session and we will use the session maker function to create a class called session. And after that, we will instantiate the session and then use it. But first we have to load our users.json file and store the content of this file of the users.json file inside this variable users.info. So this will be a list because this is just a JSON file and as you can see here, it's converted in a list. And now I'm gonna just loop over this user info data and I want to filter the email because the email has to be unique and I will check does the user already exist and I will get a user or I will retrieve a none here. So if the user does not exist, I want to create it. And I will use the user class and pass the information of the user to this user class and actually create now a user object. So I will now add the user to a session. And now I will try to commit the session and also try to catch an error. So if the user does already exist, which should normally not happen because I try to query it here, I will just roll back my session. So after this, I want to make sure that my users are inside the user database and I will run session query and then query the user table and get all users from there and just iterate over them. And then I will just print their ID, their first name, last name, and so on. Okay, now we're done with creating the database or implementing the logic to create our database and we can continue to create our agent. To create the agent who talks to the database, we have to import some helper functions and classes from Langchain. For example, the create SQL agent function, and then also the SQL database toolkit class and SQL database class. 
This makes it very easy to actually allow the LLM to query objects from the SQLite database. After that, we will use um, an API key. This uh, is my personal API key. You can not use it. I will also delete it after the video. And then I will call the create engine again. I will create the engine from the existing database stored in the engine variable, and then uh, call the SQL database class and instantiate it with the engine object. Now we have our database uh, variable. And after that, we will instantiate uh, the OpenAI class with a temperature of zero. You can also pick another value and store that inside the LLM variable. After that, we will use the SQL database toolkit class and instantiate this with the database and the LLM, which are stored here in these two variables. Now we have our toolkit and now we can call our create SQL agent function and pass the LLM, the toolkit, and I will also pass the optional parameter verbose. So we store that inside the agent executor variable, and we now are able to talk with the agent to our SQL database, and we'll just use the agent executor variable here. Okay, after creating the database and the agent logic, we can now create our app. We will first import Gradio here and use an abbreviation, GR, and then we will import from the creation file here, we will import the create db and sample data uh, function. And then we will also import the agent executor object from our SQL chain file. So after the imports, we have to define a single function. And this is the function where our logic with the executor is stored. So we actually pass a single parameter here, the agent executor object has a run method, which takes this single argument and runs it inside the agent. So this will create an output and we will return the output. So this will be in the first text field and this will be in the output text field. Okay, after this, we will create a main function which contains the Gradio logic. Inside there, we will instantiate a blocks class um, and give it the name demo. And now we can define our UI logic. For example, we will write um, a header here with a markdown uh, class and pass it Langchain SQL agent app, for example, as a header. And then we will create a text box. We will store the text box inside a variable called name. And here we have a placeholder and a label. After this, we also want the output. So there goes the input and there goes the output and both will be stored in a variable. And then we need a button to actually execute our askBot class. We'll create a button here with the label askModel and store this in the variable greet button. This button has to listen to a click. In JavaScript, it's called an event listener. And we will trigger on a click event this function. As you can see, there is not um, another input. The single input parameter here is expected. And we will also pass here uh, inputs, name, and outputs. So this is the name, and this is the outputs. So we take the input from there and pass it to this. Okay, after that, we call the launch method from this blocks object, and this will actually create our UI and run the application. Okay, now we have to call this function. And I will use if name equals main. So then we want to create the database. And we also want to call the main method. So after writing the code, we just have to type Python app.py and the web server will be started. Takes just a few seconds. And as you can see, here are the database variables, which are printed. And the app is running on localhost 7860. We just visit our localhost here and with the correct port and just try to run it, as you can see, it works nice. We can see the executor chain is working perfectly. I think it's quite easy to build an app like this with Gradio and Langchain. If you liked the video, feel free to like my video and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye.